Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my current beauty favorites. I haven't done a favorites video in a year or two. I don't know. It's been a really long time and I love favorites videos. So I figured I would sit down and let you guys know like my current beauty favorites. I tried to pick a few things from each category like eyes, lips, face, skincare, stuff like that. So if you like to see some of my favorites, please keep watching. So if you guys want me to do like a monthly like hits and misses, let me know in the comments below. I don't know I'll have like a bunch of favorites like to do it per month, but I can definitely try. I think that if I did a hits and misses in one video, I would have enough products, but I think if I just did like a dedicated favorites video, I just don't think that I would have enough to make it like worth your while, I guess is what I'm saying. But let me know your thoughts in the comments below. So I think I'm gonna start off with skincare. So the first thing I'm gonna be talking about is from Freeman. This is the Hydrating Glacier Water and Pink Peony Gel Cream Mask. You guys, this was a lifesaver for me through the entire winter season up until now. I don't use it as much as I was using it in the colder months, but when my skin is feeling like super, super dry, I like to use this. So I did use it a few times by itself with like no other skincare product, but then the last like month or so, I started putting it on top of my nightly skincare routine. Like after I was done with my moisturizer and my eye cream, I put some of this on top of that and I liked it 10,000 times better. So I love this. This is $5. I got this at five and below. I'm so obsessed. This seriously has helped my dry skin and a little bit goes a long way. And this I've had since November and it's still like half full. So I love this stuff. So it just says on the front that's for all skin types. It's a leave-on mask, instantly calms and softens for glowing skin, anti-pollution. So there's two different ways that you can wear this. I leave it on all night and wash it off in the morning, but it also says that you can put on extra and leave it on for 10 or 15 minutes and then take it off immediately. But like I said, I've been putting it on at night and just leaving it on overnight and then washing it off in the morning. So that's like my favorite way to use this. Now I'm gonna be talking about my favorite daytime moisturizer that I've been obsessed with. I think this came in a boxy luxe. This is from Elemis. It's the Pro Collagen Marine Cream. This is what this little guy looks like. It smells like vitamin C. Like it smells like kind of orangey, but with like a little bit of like suntan lotion. I don't know, it smells like summer to me. I really like it, it's lightweight. It's not, I use like a heavier moisturizer at night, which I'll show you too. So it's not super heavy. I think it's like the right amount of like mm, moisturizedness. I don't know. It's the right amount for like a day moisturizer, if that makes sense. Like it's not super hydrating, but it's not dry. It's like that perfect in between. So I've been really, really, really liking this and it smells phenomenal. So for the nighttime, I think this also came in a boxy lux. Actually, I think that Elemis thing came in a Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. I don't really know where that came from. I already forgot. But I got this It Confidence in a Cream for All Skin Types. This is a transforming, moisturizing, super cream. Anti-aging. This is what this guy looks like. This came in a boxy looks. I know that for sure. I've been using this at night, and I love it. It's super moisturizing. It's kind of like a thick cream, so a little bit goes a long way. And I have been loving this for, like, my nighttime moisturizer. The next thing I'm going to be talking about, so for eye cream, I use the Origins Ginseng Eye Cream, and then I also use the Olay Henriksen Banana Cream, which I don't like. Like, I don't like it at all, but I bought it, so I'm trying to use it up. But then I got on Amazon, and I typed in eye cream, because I wanted to try a drugstore eye cream. I don't think I ever have, and this one had really good reviews, so I picked it up, and I'm so happy that I did. This is the L'Oreal Eye Defense comes in this little tiny guy right here, but I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it on camera, but if you can see, I'll zoom it in and see, but it's like a light pink and it has like, it's not necessarily glitter, but it's like shimmery. And you could see it with the flash on the phone because I was sending it to people to go buy. And I really like this. It dries down really fast, so when you put it on, it looks like your under eye is going to be like wet, but then it dries down and you can't see it anymore. It's super lightweight. I just love it. everything about it. It smells good. It says you can use it a.m. p.m. alone or under makeup. I use it, I don't know, depending on how I feel in the morning, I'll use it. If I want to use it at night, I use it then too. There's not much of a scent, but I've used this in my 
get ready with me everyday makeup or something like that. I don't know. I've used this a few times on my channel. This is from Drunk Elephant and it's the De Bronzy Anti-Pollution Sunshine Serum. It's a Gar Glow. I love this stuff, especially when I was self tanning. And now that summer is finally here, I'm going to be able to get in the pool. So I'm definitely going to get a tan for sure. I like to mix this in with my moisturizer and it just it bronzes up my face and it matches my face more so to my body because my face doesn't really tan that well even with self tanner or the sun it's just kind of like mm, and then my body will be like really tan so I like to mix this in with my moisturizer I really like it the only thing I don't like is it does transfer so if I touch my face throughout the day like say I'm only wearing this a moisturizer it comes off on my fingers but it also looks really nice under makeup too so I've been really really liking this this next thing has also been a favorite of mine since the colder months. Like, I'm so obsessed with this. So this is from Fresh, and it's the Sugar Lip Wonder Drops. It comes in this little tube right here. It's a retexturizing and smoothing gel. You only need one drop, so it does come with, like, a little dropper. It smells so good, but I love this. I get chapped lips a lot, and I should be drinking more water, I think, that might be like half of the reason why my lips are always chapped because I notice if I drink a lot of water they don't get as chapped but in the winter time it's like a lose-lose. It doesn't even matter how much chapstick I wear like my lips are still going to get chapped and this stuff oh my gosh like even when my lips aren't chapped I love to put this on first so you put a drop you rub it everywhere and it dries and then this is the best base for lips for liquid lipstick or lipstick but especially liquid lipsticks because you know when you put on a liquid lipstick it kind of dries out your lips and then like even if you didn't really have any dry patches you might be able to see a little something something after you put on a liquid lipstick and can I say liquid lipstick 10 more times but anyways this prevents that this gives you exactly what it says like a complete smooth base there's no cracking like lip products just go on so well like, I think you guys should totally check it out like I think it's worth every penny and when I'm out of this I'm going to definitely repurchase and then also one more thing about this because this is probably my favorite thing in this entire video but you don't have to put a chapstick or anything on top of it like sometimes at night I'll apply it and then I'll put like this next thing I'm going to show you like on top of it but if I'm going to use it like during the day underneath lipsticks then I don't put on anything else other than this and it is just so good. The next thing I'm going to be showing you has definitely been my favorite for at least a year. I have so many backups upstairs, I can't even tell you. This is from Laneige, and this is the Lip Sleeping Mask for All Skin Types. You guys, this hands down will probably be my favorite lip mask, chapstick, lip gloss, whatever, for life. Unless somebody comes out with something better. The smell of it is so good. It kind of smells like bubblegum. I don't know. It smells so good. I have a backup of this. They also came out with little tubes of different flavors. They have like a pear, I want to say mango, grapefruit, and lime, something like that. I have the pear one upstairs and it comes in like a squeeze tube. I'm obsessed with that too, but I am trying to use this little guy up, but it is so good. It makes your lips like super like luscious looking like wet looking it also like if I put it on before I go to bed and I wake up in the morning my lips feel incredible I like to wear it during the day I wear it at night I wear it as like a lipstick like a lip gloss on top of a lipstick like there's just so many ways that you can use this it's just so good moving on to my favorite lip sticks products at the moment I have four things right here and they're literally like all the same color but different formula and I just can't <laughs> They're so good. Anyway, so the first thing I'm going to be showing you is from Milani. This is in the shade 03 Nude, and it's a lip liner. This is like the perfect match to my lips. So when I want to make them bigger to where you can't tell, this is the perfect lip liner to do that with if you want to overline your lips and you don't want people to know you're doing it. So I like to use this. This looks good with like every single lipstick, except for maybe orange, but I don't know. Maybe it'll look good with that too, but this by far is my favorite lip pencil at the moment and it's super affordable next I have this lipstick queen liquid lipstick this is in the shade so long this is a beautiful shade this is the only liquid lipstick I've ever tried from lipstick queen with the shade of this it's gorgeous it's like a deep dusty rose my lips but better shade these two lip liners and then the liquid lipstick like complement each other really well too but it's super lightweight you can't feel it on your lips dries down like so good I'm telling you, like, all these lip products are, like, the same shade. But this next thing is from CoverGirl, and this is the Melting Pout Vinyl Vow, I believe. And it's in the shade 210 Kiss Kiss. I love this. 
just like it says it's like a vinyl lip lacquer and it's just gorgeous and it's this right here so you can put it on and make it sheer or you can like layer it up and then it'll be like all you need like you don't need to wear a lipstick underneath it and I love it and then the last lip product is from Lancome and honestly I haven't used a juicy tube since like high school when I got my senior prom makeup done and then I happened to see this and I was like you know what I'm gonna try those juicy tubes again I don't know why I waited so long again I love the shade it is kind of like a thicker stickier formula but it makes my lips look so good so it is like a squeeze tube this is in the shade tickled pink 43 and that's this right here. So it's super shiny. It makes your lips look super luscious. It looks really good on top of this liquid lipstick. Just paired with this lip liner. It looks really good on top of like any kind of like nude pink lipstick. It just looks so good. So these shades right here and formulas and whatever are like my favorite lip color products for right now. Moving on to eyes, I tried to pick things that you could get the most use out of that were still my favorites like I didn't want to pick out like a super colorful like $40 eyeshadow palette and it's not something that people would use every day because that's not something I use every day so the first thing that I'm going to show you guys is the Kylie the bronze palette this is like her very first eyeshadow palette she came out with I love this because you can use this as like a daytime look minimal like no makeup look or you can really like smoke it out and have a nighttime look out of it I just love all the shades even the shimmers like the shimmers aren't like there's only two of them in here they're not like super super pigmented but they're pigmented enough for me anyways so I just really really like this I think this is definitely like a staple and then you could always use this to mix in with like other colorful eyeshadows or glitters or whatever you want I just really really like this palette then the next thing I'm gonna be talking about is this ColourPop double and tendre I don't know if I'm saying that right eyeshadow palette I use this for like a month straight every time I sat down to do my makeup there is no mirror which Kylie doesn't have one either but I love these shades they blend out like a dream oh my gosh and again I feel the same way about this palette you can do minimal makeup you can do a daytime look you can smoke it out and have a nighttime look like you can do so much and there is one two three four shimmers I believe the rest are mattes this shade right here is kind of like a red brown shade it's my favorite this peach shade this kind of orangey shade and it's extremely affordable then I have a mascara I have the Maybelline Lash Sensational waterproof mascara and I love this so if I want to keep my lashes like completely curled as curled as they can be I always use a waterproof mascara because that will really hold my lashes up and then I don't ever have a problem getting it off like I use my Clinique take off the day balm or whatever and it takes it right off so I'm not like struggling trying to get it off so I really really like this it like lengthens and thickens up my lashes the next thing I'm gonna be talking about I've already talked about it in like the last like three videos I filmed but this is from L'Oreal and it's a voluminous lash paradise base it's kind of like a light pink shade and you use this as a base before you apply your mascara and if I want to wear like a regular mascara not waterproof I I've been using this and it still gives me the same like lift as a waterproof mascara would do and I just love this so when you apply it you wait for it to dry completely down and then you go on top of it with your mascara so I've tried a few mascara bases in the past and honestly the only one that has worked for me other than this one is this this one that I got from Lancome as like a sample a couple years ago and I really really liked it I don't know I might still have it but um, that's the only other one that's ever worked for me besides this one but this one is like super affordable so the last eye product that I'm gonna be talking about is a eyelash glue so I jumped on the bandwagon and got the house of lashes lash glue in this clear one and then also the black I cannot stand that like it's almost to the point where I just want to throw it away like I don't like it I find lash glue my lashes like a week later like it is ridiculous and it's really hard to take off the lashes as much as I appreciate them being like stuck on and I don't have to worry about them like fluttering you know I can't get them off and like I end up pulling my own lashes out so I'm just like mm -mm. so I found this one from duo and it's just the brush on adhesive with vitamins I got this off of Amazon and this works just as well it keeps my lashes on and I'm not picking out lash glue like a week or two later and it doesn't make it hard to take them off either so I've been loving this 
Next up, I have face products. So the first thing I'm gonna be talking about is the Cody Airspun Powder. I can't believe I haven't like made this in a favorites video, but I love this. Seriously, this is like, this never lets me down. Like there's so many loose powders I've tried that just like don't do it. Like sometimes I'll work, sometimes I don't, but so far this has worked with every foundation that I've ever paired it with. I like the smell. Like I know a lot of people think it's like, it is overwhelming and it does smell like old people, but the smell goes away throughout the day and I actually don't mind it. I really like it and this has lasted me forever. I got mine at Walmart. I think it was like five or six dollars and I still have so much left and like seriously this just this never does me wrong. I love it. And it also comes in multiple shades which I didn't know. Like this shade right here is translucent extra coverage 0741 but then I found another one at Walmart that was like a little bit darker than this that I was going to use during the summertime when I have a tan but yeah this definitely comes in different shades so I would check that out if you didn't know. And my favorite way to apply the airspun powder is with a big fluffy brush. This next thing is from Jouer and this is the bronzer duo. This is in the shade light to medium. It has sunlight and suntan in it. This and it has like a mirror. This little compact is so nice like I really like it I just mix both shades and throw them on together I know they don't look like they would be like dark enough for bronzer but they are and I really like them they blend out really nice I love the shade of this bronzer like I love them I like both of them like I said I just mix them both but I it's matte but it doesn't look muddy it glides on it just looks so good this is by far probably going to be my favorite bronzer for a while Next, my favorite highlighter at the moment is from NARS. This is NARS Albatross. You do get a mirror and this is like a big compact. NARS is pretty pricey, but I really like this because it's like a white gold shade and it's really smooth. And this is what it looks like. So you can do like a light amount and just get like a glow from within, I guess you would say, or you can get your brush wet and you can make it blinding. So I just love it. Like I don't have a shade like this it's really smooth it doesn't emphasize like texture on the skin it just looks so good then i have my laura geller speckle hydrating moisturizing under makeup primer and i might have thrown this in a favorites video like a long time ago but this is still my favorite moisturizing primer it's more moisturizing than my moisturizer and it makes all my foundation just like look amazing like if i know if i wear this as a primer my foundation is going to look flawless and i just love it I love it. I did see on Ulta they have like an extra bigger tube, which I'm totally going to buy when I'm out of this. But if you have dry skin, I highly suggest picking this up. This will definitely be like a repurchase forever. And then the last thing I'm going to be talking about is from Wet n Wild. And this is the Mega Glow Makeup Stick Contour Stick. This is in the shade Oaks on You. I believe there is a deeper shade. I love this for cream bronzer. I don't use it as contour, but I use it as a cream bronzer and it's super pigmented. It blends out really, really nice and it's affordable. And then you can just like screw it up when you need more product, but this looks so good on the skin. So that's all my current beauty favorites. So let me know if any of my favorites are your favorites and what your like number one favorite product is at the moment in my comments below so I can make sure to check those out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.